guys to a new telegram bot tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn some basics about the telegram bot API and how it works. So this is the documentation of the API. And here you can find a lot of methods that you can use to interact with your bot. But first, we need to understand how the whole thing works. So let's consider, for instance, that you send a message to the bot from a Telegram account. The Telegram API searches for a webhook assigned to that bot. And if it finds one, it automatically forwards the message in a GET request to the webhook URL, which in our case would be the subdomain we created in the previous tutorials. Then your server processes the request and when it forms a response, it should call a method in the Telegram API called send message to send this response to the same user that initiated the request. The API URL is formed as follows. So right here we have api.telegram.org slash bot and then we put in here the token that is generated from the bot father when you first created your bot. And the method name is replaced with whatever the method that you want to call in the API of Telegram bot. In this tutorial, we will cover two methods, set webhook and get webhook info. So here we have the first method, which is set webhook. So basically, if you want to call this set webhook to set our webhook URL, then what we're going to do is actually go back here to the structure of this Telegram API and we're going to copy this. Let's paste it right here. And we want to replace this token with our token. So let's go back to our bot father and I'm going to copy my token right here. And I'm going to paste it here. There we go. And then we're going to replace the method name with let's try get web hook info first. And as you can see, we do not have a URL in the web hook. So let's now run the set web hook. And we're going to give it a parameter, which is URL. It's going to be equal to our subdomain, which in my case is Basil tech bot .net. and then we're gonna give it a colon and then the port which is 8443 let's hit enter and here we go webhook was set if we run again the get webhook method get webhook info and here we go we have the uh, the URL of the uh, the webhook set right here. Now we are ready to build our server base that we can use for building endless applications for our bot. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial.